Hi, Penny Lane here. In this short video, we're going to go over the QuickBooks Online integration settings with JobTread. Integrating JobTread and QuickBooks Online is super easy. In JobTread, from the left menu bar, you're going to choose Settings, then the Integrations tab, and from there, you'll select QuickBooks Online. On the next screen, you'll click Connect to QuickBooks. And don't worry, nothing dramatic is going to happen until you get done with your settings. Let's talk about the initial integration settings in JobTread. We've got five areas that we need to work through. The initial setup, the products and services mapping, the payment accounts, the employee mapping, and we'll talk about the unsynced records. Let's go over the initial setup first. Our first option is sync files. What does this mean? This means that you can push and pull documents and attachments between QuickBooks Online and JobTread. You heard that right push and pull documents between JobTread and QuickBooks Online. Next, you can choose to sync credits. This will push and pull credit memos and vendor credits between QuickBooks Online and JobTread. I can't think of why you wouldn't want to have this on, but it is an option. Pull expenses. You can pull expenses from QuickBooks Online into JobTread when you have selected this option. You'll want to select a default vendor in case there is no vendor selected in JobTread so that that will show up. If this option is not on, any expenses entered into QuickBooks Online directly will not show up in JobTread. Use projects. You can actually use projects with JobTread. There's an extra step to this and a separate video. We'll talk a little bit more about projects later, but if you do want to use projects, you'll toggle this on. Use classes. That's right, JobTread supports classes. Classes are allocated per job or per document. Down at the bottom, you'll notice a set up and sync your tax agency in QuickBooks. This will link you to the area that will allow you to set up your sales tax in JobTread. And finally, we have the import and map your JobTread cost codes to QuickBooks. Let's talk about that a little bit more. When you click on that option down at the bottom, you'll open it up. Know that you can import your cost codes into JobTread if you have them in Excel by using this link, the app.jobtread.com slash import. Or you can have your JobTread customer service manager import them for you. I kind of like that option. <laughs> Once your cost codes are in JobTread, you can use this link where it says click here to export your JobTread cost codes and get the template to import them into QuickBooks Online. There's also a link here to map your job tread cost codes to your product or service items in QuickBooks Online. We'll go into that a little bit more in a future video. Next, let's talk about the payment accounts. This is pretty straightforward. This is where you will map your default payment accounts between job tread and QBO. For example, in deposit two, if you record a payment received on an invoice in job tread, what bank account do you want that deposit to show up in in QuickBooks Online? This is gonna be a bank account. Withdraw from. This is the default bank account where bill payments will be recorded in JobTread will land in QuickBooks Online. And finally, if you use JobTread electronic payment processing, you're gonna select the bank account where you want those funds to show up to be deposited in QuickBooks Online, as well as an expense account where you want that processing fee to land. Next, let's dive into employee mapping. This is super straightforward. This is where you will map your member name in JobTread. In JobTread, they're called members, to your QuickBooks employee. And you can even choose what date you wanna sync time entries back to. Remember that the time tracking or the time goes from JobTread into QuickBooks Online. So this is not a choice to bring any, any time in from QuickBooks Online into JobTread, but this will sync time that is in JobTread back to the we weekly timesheets in QuickBooks Online as of whatever date you choose. Finally, let's talk about the unsynced records. The unsynced records is going to show you a list of any transactions in JobTread that did not successfully sync to QuickBooks Online for whatever reason. It's important to note that there is a filter menu at the top, so you can see just the documents, you can see customers and vendors, time entries, or applied payments. And from here, if needed, you can push these into QuickBooks Online. That's it for this video. If you have any more questions, email support at jobtread.com.